Without water, you die. Today I'm going to show you how I convert this water bladder into a gravity water station. I'm simply going to slice into the tubing here and add a Sawyer mini water filter. Now these systems work great when you know that you're going to have a base camp. So as you're passing water, you can simply stop and gather that water in this bag. Now it's going to be dirty, right? Hence the X's on the bag so you remember it's dirty. Well, you can dip down in the water with this bag and scoop up, for example here, six liters. Well, that's gonna give us approximately, what? Six of these 32 ounces, okay? Let's well, say you need to drink about three of these a day. So these are just a great resource to have because once you're back at camp, this can be doing its work. As you exhaust your water, you can replenish it with this. When you're gonna put one of these gravity-fed systems together, it's really important that the nozzle be at the bottom here and it faces down. That way the gravity can do its work. If it's pointing up, it's not gonna do anything for you. The next thing you wanna look for is one that has a detachable spigot at the bottom. So we want a spigot that's facing downward to take advantage of the gravity and one that you can remove. Now when you remove it, it's important that this bag doesn't leak. So you have to look at the system. When I wanna grab my water, I'm gonna take this apart so that way we don't contaminate this, right? We don't want dirty water inside of our hose. I'm gonna save you a lot of time and trouble. When you're going to build these systems, You'll probably just want to grab a camelback style water bladder. Well, there's a problem with that. They don't work for the gravity feds because this down here at the bottom only goes up. You need to be able to hang up this bag and have this tube flowing down. So when you're purchasing these water bladders, you've got to know if this little nozzle here can rotate. If it's built so it only goes up, it's not going to work for this. You'll find a lot of them that are sealed at the top and they just have a big wide mouth fill cap here. Those will work. The difference is you're looking at speed and time. If you're in a non-permissive environment, you wanna be able to get to that water source, scoop it up, keep booking. One of the drawbacks of this kind of a system is that I can't pre-filter the water using a bandana or something. For example, with a grail or a little Nalgene, I would place this over the top and then gather my water, getting rid of small debris here. Well, with this system, this doesn't work. I've tried it. Putting over like this, it's real awkward. So you might say, well, why not just use the Nalgene pre-filter it with the bandana, scoop it up, and fill this bag up. Well, that defeats the purpose. We're trying to get to this water source, scoop up the water and move quickly. Because who's at a water source? Everyone. Your enemies are at a water source. Animals are at a water source. It's the most dangerous place you can be. So this lets you get there, scoop it up, and go. Plus, if you're using this Nalgene to scoop up dirty water, now this Nalgene is dirty. So that's a problem. Okay, so let's build our gravity-fed water bladder system. I'm gonna come here to the tube. I like to come up one foot from the bottom, approximately. I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and try and make a clean cut, just like that. I'm gonna talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you wanna see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube, helps out the channel, helps me out, so I appreciate it. Next, I'm gonna grab my Sawyer Mini I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna pay attention to where it says flow. The flow is coming towards your mouth. That's what you're drinking. So if we're looking at the bag, we want the flow coming down, right? Because it's gravity. So we'll simply insert this onto this end. You can see it's coming down. Grab the piece that we cut off, which is about a foot long. And simply insert that onto this nipple here. And we are done. You now have a gravity fed water system with a Sawyer Mini inside of it. Now these Sawyer Minis are said to do 100,000 gallons of clean, fresh water. So that's gonna outlive you. I did an interview with Travis from Sawyer Water Filters. You can watch that interview here. Fascinating information. They do incredible work, literally saving lives all over the world, giving out their um, Sawyer filters. They give away, I believe it's like 99% of all profit goes to charity, great company. Now on this unit, you'll see they have this stopper. The way it works is you simply squeeze it and that cuts off the water flow. That's about it. We're gonna head down to a local pond here. It has a couple hundred ducks living in it. It's pretty nasty water. So with the hose and filter removed, I'm gonna find my way to the edge of the water source. I'm gonna open up the bag and dip it slowly in the water. I don't wanna churn up the water, getting more debris in there. Now here you can see there's little tadpoles, there's duck feces, no bueno, but the Sawyer water filter will take care of it. I've reached my maximum six liter fill line. 
I'm gonna seal up the bag and head out. All right, so I'm back with my six liters of water. And you notice here, I've got the hose detached. We have no leakage, so this is solid. Also up top here, again, this is a little um, Ketadine clone. Well, it's got the strap built into it. If not, you would wanna take some paracord because you're gonna hang this from a tree, right? It's important to always keep a little bit of fresh, clean water in your Nalgene because this female here has now been exposed to the dirty water. So before I hook up my tubing, I'm gonna take some of this clean water and I'm gonna prime this, okay? I'm just gonna pour it over, try and clean this out. If you want to be extra sure about your clean drinking water, you can add these aqua tabs to the bag. So this is six liters, so this would take six aqua tabs. Remember to carry your plunger on you. This comes with your Sawyer Mini because you're going to want to be plunging that, cleaning that out. And the last tip I can share with you is when you are done with it, seal this off, okay, your little clamp here, and take the top of the hose, put it over the bag. So it's staying up like that. That way there's no chance of this thing leaking overnight don't want to wake up and have no water. I recommend getting at least a six liter bag, 10 liters the best. You can pick these bags up for about 25 to $30 on eBay. All you need is the bag, comes with the tube, a Sawyer Mini water filter, they're like 20 bucks now, a pair of scissors, you're good to go. The system's coming in at about eight ounces, half a pound, it's definitely worth its weight in gold. Having clean water available to you while you're at a base camp, priceless.